What's up, Sticks TV? That's your boy Marlo, and we got another episode of Marlo War Stories. And this war story is on the night a couple of steppers was waiting for me at my mom's house, and I had to blast through the front windshield. Now, before I get into the story, you know I gotta let y'all know these stories is not to promote any violence, but let's get this story started all right now. One day, one night, I was on the block out there in North Charleston on that Megan. You know, I was playing dice. I was shooting shooting dice that whole night and people was coming and going. You see what I'm saying? Now, basically by like three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, by the time I made it to Hand in Hand, which is north of North Charleston, where my mom used to live at in Hand in Hand, when I pulled up to the when I pulled up in the parking lot, usually I don't, usually I ride around the block about two times to see if somebody waiting for me in the backyard. But for some reason, this night I'm gambling all night, I'm smoking on the runs. You see what I'm saying? I'm smoking on the runs. So basically, that night I encircled the block to see if somebody been in my backyard through the next street. You see what I'm saying? And when you done been down here in the streets, you know, doing what you do, you gotta always watch your back and treat the streets like, like you in the military. You see what I'm saying? All right now, so basically, when I pulled up inside the driveway, I noticed like, if you look in the picture, I kind of noticed like a stepper waiting on me on the side of my mom's house, but I, I, I ain't really thinking at the time because I got neighbors who always outside you know, out and about in the yard. You see what I'm saying? So basically when I pulled up, I see the person with like a little gray sweater on. I can't really remember if it been gray or white sweater. So basically before I get out the car, you know, I get my cell phone and taking my charger out the thing, you know, getting right. So out the corner of my eye, I see, I see a salute. All I see is a salute pointing. And just just luckily, I was able to do a quick drum grab and blast through the front windshield. You see what I seen? I was able to just blast through the front windshield. I can buy another car. I can I can buy another windshield, but I can't buy my life. You see what I seen? So it go it go it go become times when you out there in the streets, you thinking like when when, when somebody come to assassinate you. You thinking like, man, I gotta get out the car and blast. No, I decided to just blast through the windshield. You see what I'm saying? And it was more than one step or so. With that being said, with, with, with that being said, when people come to step on you, they expecting it to go nice and smooth. They ain't really expecting for for you to blast back. You see what I'm saying? And most steppers, when they getting blast back at. They ain't really gonna come at you full fledged. You see what I'm saying? So by me putting a couple, sending a couple shots through the front windshield, I was able to like loosen up the attack of me. So now I, I able to jump out the car and run down the street. You see what I'm saying? I was able to jump out the car and run down the street, still, still blasting behind me. You see what I'm saying? And that night, I, it was, I was lucky. I was lucky to survive. Now, basically, we don't know where that come from. You see what I'm saying? I, I done been gambling that whole night. You know, people get in and out. You see what I'm saying? I could have got phone tag. Somebody could have been like, "Hey, Marlon, y'all yeah, gambling?" You see what I'm saying? He done been smoking that runs. By the time he get home, he gonna be out of it. You got cause cause when people set you up, they think of. They think of all type of stuff like he could be sleeping. Yeah, that's a good time to get him four in the morning. He done been outside all day in the heat. We know he tired. We, we gonna get him. We gonna step on him. You see what I say? And he had his mama house. He think ain't nobody know his mama live at? Yeah, because you never know. My neighbors or the people who live across the street could be related to the to the assassins. You see what I'm saying? But this your boy Marlo, man. I out.